It's the final two games of the season and we have a chance to nab top spot and get promoted to the Football League. But the second game is against the team who are in second place. So it, it could all go pretty badly. Hi guys, Woody here. Welcome back. Episode 18 of the Road to Glory Save with Chat and Town. If you're enjoying this type of content or any other type of football manager content for that mind, please subscribe to the channel, tap that bell notification, smash that like button, and uh, let me know down in the comments before we play this video. Can we do it? It would be, was it like four promotions in a row? It's absolutely ridiculous. The media prediction you can hear, see he was 23rd. We're top of the table. Um, it's it's tight though. It's tight. Um, we're we're, we're, we're going to go through some some things first. The finances aren't still great, but we are under uh, half a million, so it has kind of sort of rectified a bit. We had a youth intake. It was crap again. I mean, Alan Goth. You click on him, and I always get these things. You see, you see that little flash of green, and you're like, he is lightning. No, that that's that's his natural fitness. Is really slow and he's unambitious. So mm. Malachi Headley actually looks to be probably the best of a bad bunch. I mean, he's volatile and confrontational, but he is decent determination. He's got good passing and good vision. Um, yeah, he's got good passing and good vision. And Alfie Kinsella is the other one who is a winger. Uh, I mean, he's 16. He's got a bit of pace for a 16-year-old, and he is determined, and his crossing and dribbling isn't bad. So, I mean, we we have a little club info. We've got one for all of these, so we're not going to be producing any world beaters. So, schedule. I left you after the Maidstone victory. We then draw nil all with Woking. 3-0 win over Gateshead. 2-0 win over Yeovil. A one all draw with Chester. A 2-0 win over Barnet, 2-1 win over Eastleigh, 1-0 win over Havant and Waterlooville, 1-0 win over um, but as you can see Kieran Wakefield popping up here as well. And scored, oh, I was gonna say let's go twice this month, scored three. And also here and here. We then lost to Boreham Wood. That was that was a bit of a blow, but you know, the team are dying essentially. 1-0 win over Sleeper Moors, Barrow was a 2-0 win. We then lost to Knox County 1-0. One all draw with York, and then we had a big gap, so I played um, uh, Gravisham, and we beat them 4-0. We then drew nil all with Stevenage. We have Chesterfield, who are 19th today in the league, and then on the final day, we play Aldershot at home. Both the games at home, I didn't even check that. Chesterfield is away, and Aldershot at home. Now, you look at the table here. Uh, York, who Aldershot play, they can't make the playoffs. Chesterfield battling relegation, so they've got a lot to play for, but I mean, we can end up this final day with Aldershot realistically beating us and pipping us on goal difference, so it can be very, very tight. You have a look here, it's been the last couple of weeks we've consolidated where Aldershot uh, sort of out of the picture, but have come back nicely. Uh, Scunthorpe, Notts County. Notts County have done a real good job there. Stockport, they were the leaders for a time and then they have that horror, horror run. Uh, tactics wise, I think, are we missing anyone? I can't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. We've got some players on trial. That's really it. Uh, cool. This is it. Chesterfield. It, it, I mean, this is do or die. We've got two massive, massive games. Luckily, they're a good week apart more than a week apart they're literally two weeks apart yeah. okay anyway we've got Anderson in goal little at right back Jackson Sheridan Mason left back McCarthy at the base of midfield Beckwith Potts Hinnon Kone and the man the myth the legend he's not a myth he's actually a real person Kieran Wakefield I did want to point out actually that myself and Kieran Wakefield are legends of the club we've got some other boys in here uh, Ben Cooper Paul Hayes Ben Jackson, Sam Beckwith, Alfie Payne, Ryan Hayes, uh, Amidi, Reese York, and Tyreek Clark. So all people that I've had at the club, uh, they are in there. Anyway, let's go and play this game. This is huge because I think all the shot at home will be York. We're going to have to have fun against Chesterfield. 
two week break could be a good thing or contemplate whether playing a uh, friendly in the middle of that. All right, we're into the shades of pointing the pink finger. The title is ours. The title is ours. We can do this, boys and girls. I mean, in the shed, just boys, but you know what I mean. All right, skip this. Here we go. This is it. Absolute crunch time. <clears throat> Chesterfield are fighting here because they've got, you know, they get relegated. And they probably don't want that. We're going to shout out that encouragement. We're going to keep an eye on that older shot. And the York game, it is nil all. If Aldershot lose and we get anything but a loss, the title is ours. I would kind of say that Aldershot are probably going to win that game. Um, so far, this is looking good, looking great. We're heading up to first time with the uh, no highlights. Oh, we've got one 40 minutes in and it's Chesterfield with the ball now. One strand. Riley on the ball now for them. Thorndike Morgan. Oh, Anderson. 18 clean sheets this season. That's almost half our games. He he's good. He is a really good goalkeeper. And there he is. Showing some safe hands, safe hands, and booting the ball downfield for the highlight to end. And then that's half time. Into the sheds. I'm gonna point the finger. We've been the better team here. Just keep going and we can do it. All the shot are winning. There you go. I told you they would probably get something out of this game. Chesterfield, like I said, they they need to win or draw. Well, I think a draw still does something for them. Kone with the ball. Sheridan and Mason now knocking about. Sheridan has a bit of a pop. What's he doing out pop out there? The big Northern Irish lad. Kone with a free kick. He's going to whip this in. Can he get the head of Sheridan? And he does run on Sheridan. That's his third goal of the season. The big Northern Irish lad. Get in. And the Chatham Ultras go a bit bonkers in the stands there. It's a great free kick from Kone and Sheridan at the back post there, getting up and nodding it in. This is fine. The win is fine. It takes us to that final day. The final day against Aldershot where, I mean, we, we've got to put some past Chesterfield here to, even if we do lose, make that goal difference swing against Aldershot too big that they would need to like thump us four or five nil. That's the plan. Our goal difference is one better at this point. Uh, so the more we can put in the back of the net here, the better. Although winning is the priority. The priority is winning. As Thornhill now for Chesterfield. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. Thank God he's hit the post. Oh, some bum, 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 heart palpitations. Also as well, it would be great if York could keep all the shot to uh, one goal at minimum. Maximum? Minimum. Something like that. McCarthy on the ball now fast. That's a red card. That is a red card. And Chesterfield may have just sealed their relegation with that red card. Is a goal kick? No, so no, I'm sorry, I had a little coughing fit there. That's why that might have been a bit funny. Here we go again. Jackson saving the ball there. And Anderson now with the ball. Mason down the left wing. Having all the everyone's fitness, it's not too bad. Wakefield! He usually scores them. His pace there. Oh. It was good. It was good. Right. Let's go and have a look at some substitutions that we can make. Pat King isn't playing well. That means uh, Ben Cooper coming out onto the left here. Kim Whitefield not having the best game. We're going to leave everyone as is. And we'll, we'll keep an eye. Keep an eye on the... Uh, on the guys' fitness and make changes as we see fit, but Ross Marshall has put Chesterfield here back on level terms. Oh my god, we're going to end up with a final day against Aldershot because they are winning this game. They're bidding walk, York walk. They demand some more. We've got a free kick here. Cooper on the ball now. Uh, whips. Ben Cooper, a man who's been with us this whole journey. He has come on and just absolutely, look at this, bend it like Ben Cooper. Get in. Get in. Goal difference stay the same. We want ahead. Ryan Sheridan looking a little bit tired at the back here. And Adam McCarthy as well. Let me have anyone. All right, we'll make a couple of time-wasting substitutions. It's going to be Captain Alfie Payne coming on for Beckwith. And we will bring Bennett on for 
uh, Ben Jackson. This guy here, uh, Andrew Bennett, that's pretty good. He can't see because my head, but yeah, it's like, well, it's like, he's been pretty good. He's nervous. Just a couple of time wasting substitutions. We should probably go to time wasting. That will probably be good. Instructions, time wasting. It's always dangerous, I feel. Let's just run down the clock. Run it down. Alfie Payne, can he get his 14th assist? And can we steal the game? No, McCarthy now. McCarthy to Bennett. Little on the ball now. Trying to cross it is. It is Jones on the ball for Chesterfield. Chesterfield now trying to counter. But Mason makes a good intercept and pass it for the captain. Alfie Payne. Kone now to Potts. Potts with the ball. He unleashes a bit of a shot. And that's fine. I just eat up some more time. Eat up some more time. Get in. We get a good, good, solid win. We we were a little bit ropey there next year one and we that free kick from Ben Cooper absolutely saved us. Great work, lads. Great work. Right, here we are. We've got the old shot game. Uh something I did just uh, want to double check was the uh, rules. So it is goal difference, then goals scored. Now if we just Open this up here. They have actually scored more goals than us. So a 1-0 win or a loss by one goal will see them pip us on bloody goals scored. Oh, terrible. One change of team. Kinnan drops out. Cooper in. And uh, D. Haviland comes onto the bench. I know Ben Cooper is struggling, but he has been here with us since the get-go. All five seasons, slight dropped off this year. He's obviously just a little bit not quite up to it. Point the finger, come on, lads, do this one for the. We're, we're going to leave it with that actually. And we're going to have a match preview. It must be on TV. Our form's not great. We obviously won our last game, but in between there, three games without a win. Um, mm, all the shot in good, good form. Oh, all right, here we go. Let's shout out the encouragement first as well. Uh, just in case any of you were concerned, I didn't actually relegate Chesterfield last game. Uh, so they are one point at the moment from uh, from safety. So just any Chesterfield fans watching, I didn't relegate you guys. Here we are, it's still nil all, 25 minutes into the game. Nothing has happened. The older shot have had five waywardy shots on target, which kind of is, is very, very tired. Uh, we'll try and demand some more, we'll get a highlight for half time here, maybe, guys. I mean, I do this all the time. We always come back and it's no highlights. But on the plus side, if this game doesn't have any highlights, it'll be a minimal draw and that will be sweet. Lads. Into the sheds, point the finger, come on, lads, win this one for the fans and seal the title. Oh, we've got a highlight what this happened here. I think it was Old Shot getting a yellow card, and it is going to be Mason with the free kick. He's pretty devos. I was going to say devastating with them. And we've got another highlight. Wow, two highlights in quick succession. He's going to be Mason with another free kick. What's going to try and do? He hoops that one on Van Cooper. It is Ben Cooper. He's the offside. He's, he's got it. The man who's been here from the start has he done enough to get us. The victory, it's it's, oh, it's great stuff in Cooper. Great stuff. It's it's one goal. Calm down. Calm down. <sighs> breathe. 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 Need a brown paper bag to breathe into because I'm really like, oh my god. Turning on the ball now. He, oh, McCarthy, trying to extend his line. Hopefully Cooper now out to Kone on the left hand side. Back to Beckley. And Kone, Richard Kone. With his 11th goal in the season, it is just him to hold a shot. You know, this is the way, this is the way we go into the football. We might be going to football league. We might be going to football league. Look at this. Kone, Beckwith, Kone again, smashes that in. Goalkeeper, no chance. 2,400 here today to potentially see Chatham Town in the football league for the first time. There will be a pitch invasion at the end of this if we win. To imagine there would be. McCarthy on the ball now to Potts. Potts pushing forward. That's a good little maze. You're running Kieran Wakefield. Oh, Kieran Wakefield. His 33rd goal of the season. And that is game, set, and match. I was a little bit nervous for a second after that first half, but oh, look at Potts there. He's going to be pretty good in League 2 for us. Hopefully Kieran Wakefield can be. That would be amazing. 
and look at that that is it we are in it to win it i mean we've won it let's have a look how chesterfield doing they look like they're going to be safe Sheridan on the ball now, Kone. Loses it to Lidger. Back to Pew. Harris now for all the shot. Can they get something out of this? Anderson. He'll be looking for his uh, 19th, 19th clean sheet this season, I think. Hopefully, he can sell her. The ball heads away. And it is Ben Cooper on the ball now. Oh, oh he's, he's, he's copped an injury. He has copped an injury, Ben Cooper. It prints a quarrel on for him, which is kind of not set on the injury. We don't really have anyone to put on for you, mate. We are going to bring on nobody. Can Mason push up there? But I don't want to play left back. We're going to put it's the last game of the season. It is the last game of the season. We are going to bring on Captain Alfie Payne for Freddie Potts because he should be on the field. When that sign goes, the 13 assist man, he has done enough for us this season. It is the 75th minute mark. Another highlight, pain with a free kick, whips it in, jets it on the head. Oh, could have been 4 0. That would be an absolute anti climax if we were doing this game 4 0. Liam Hughes just had an absolute mare of a day in goal. He's on a 5.9. Sheridan now to McCarthy. Back to the captain, Payne. Kone to Payne. Payne to Mason and to Kone just passing in that little triangle back with fourth, but he's going to have a pop, but it is Alfie Payne who has that pop. We might take it to Kone off. Uh, it is going to be a bit of a weird reshuffle. Andrew Bennett. Mm, okay. Andrew Bennett is going to come off with Kone. Kone swap with Mason. And Bennett swap with a little. I've got a little complaint on that back a little bit. Oh, I see what I did there. See what I did there. Give the team talk, point the finger. I have faith in you, mate. Go and make a difference at right back. It's not going to make any difference. We'll just get Kone off. Just to that injury. Just, you know. All the have picked up five yellow cards. Is there another goal in this for Chatham Town who have been absolutely devastating today? Payne to McCarthy. McCarthy finds Beckwith. Beckwith to Mason out on his left wing. Mason has a little pop. So well until we finish, that's true. Just feel like they're going to survive on goal difference as well. And there it is. There it is. Chatham Town have won the National League and we're going on the Football League. Wow. I said there'd be a pitch invasion. I'm, I'm sure there was an all fans just got back in their seat because, you know, here it is. National League trophy gets handed over to our captain, Alfie Payne. And there we are, the fireworks and the confetti comes down from the clouds. Oh, drink it in, boys. So a lot of you aren't League 2 standards. <laughs> it's 21, Cartwheel, Aquara, maybe? Maybe? Prince Aquara there, man of the match, Curtis Anderson. He was pretty good. He only had two saves. Interesting that he got man of the match. He's got the highest average rating, but Liam Hughes in the other net had an absolute shocker of a game. And all the shots will be going via the playoffs. All right. We've won the National League. All right, what is this projected? Let's add him to the shortlist because I need that guy, maybe. Lift the National League on the final day. Kone's out one today. It's been Cooper. Oh, twist, twist the animal. I see it's weak. Well, you're lucky it's. um. In the season, mate. Well, he's not going to get 10 league goals. Oh, chat him off me a huge contract. We turn professional with that. With immediate effect. They've also increased the amount of staff we can hire. Wow. Uh, one coach and a sports scientist. Ooh. How very cheeky. Oh, the fans are ecstatic. The board's ecstatic. Kone thinks I'm brilliant. We're crowned champions. Let's see. All right, budget-wise, I mean, we need a massive increase in wages. I'm, um, what, 10 times the amount of wages? Transfer budget, I don't really care for, so I just I just want a big wage budget. Is 40k too much? 10. And transfer budget of zero. Let's just, uh, so 10k. 
Let's just go and have a look at uh, League 2. Uh, so, um, oh, where are we? Uh, stages number we want League table. So, Torquay and Newport County, they finished bottom. Uh, let's look team details and we can go to uh, salary per annum. Wrexham, 1.94 million. Uh, talking in Harrogate, they have 8 to 70. That is their salary per annum. Panorama National League, 200k. That is a long way off. I wonder if that's taken into account now, but that is a long way off. Wow. Let's go and do the season preview after we do this. Well, then we bravely against relegation, so obviously. Let's see if we can get a thousand pounds out of it. Thousand pounds. A thousand pounds a week. Alright, season review. There it is. The National League Trophy. New rivals, Miles Sohana. So Sona. Player of the season. He was pretty good to be honest. Freddy Potts. Good Freddy Potts. Come on. 21 goal contributions. Adam McCarthy was good. Moses, Steve Havland. Got the transfers pretty, pretty right there to be honest. Transfers out. They're all pretty happy with them, to be honest. Uh, let's go and have a look at see some of these things. So, Veteran National League, we've got an A+. Plus. We expect to fight bravely against relegation. Uh, but we topped the table on the final day. Six points is, well, is a pretty big gap, but we considering we played all the shot on the final day. The FA Cup was a B-. Minus. We went second round to Wickham Wanderers. And the FA Trophy is a fifth round to Stockport County. Big swing was a 5 0 win over Flyde. 2 1 win over Epsilon was a match to remember. And then the gold season was back with Skull against that team. I've seen that. We are now one and a half star reputation. We need some sponsorship deals, I reckon. Sponsorship's up. Everything's up. The competition prize money. Shirt sales. Wakefield, back with Jackson, Kone, Potts. Yeah, pretty standard. And this is how we lined up Anderson, Mason, Sheridan, Jackson, Little, McCarthy, Potts, Payne, Kone, and Kent. Kinnan and Wakefield. Interestingly, it's Payne who makes it in here ahead of Beckwith. But look at those goals. Look at these assists from midfield. 29 of them. They would have been through balls for Wakefield. Uh, man manager of the month, Wakefield player of the season, young player, sign of the season, goal of the season, top scorer, Kieran Wakefield, Freddie Potts, Wakefield, Wakefield. Uh, passes, most league appearances. 148 Ben Cooper and 76 goals for Kieran Wakefield. No competition awards as of yet, and it is history in the making. There it is. Here's all the other stuff. End of season break. We've upgraded. We can now do national scouting. Hallelujah. All right, guys. I am going to go away, and I am going to do a pretty, pretty long off season, I think. And when we come back, Chatham Town will be in League 2. It's only take us five years. Five promotions in a row. If we just have a look here at the club info, um, if we go overview, look at this. Straight up. Straight up. Good stuff, guys. Anyway, if you've watched all the way to the end of this, well done. And if you're not subscribed, if you could, would mean it a lot. Smash that like button and let me know how will we go in League 2. I'll see you there.